What's up, Jet Setters? It's John Cristani, and uh, today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a monster, monster entrepreneur. He has over 30 people working for him. He's a content marketing master. Right. What's going on? Good Dude, to see you. good to see you, man. Good Thanks for coming here. by. Eric Sue. This place is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> We actually had a little fun. We took a little detour. I showed this guy some really cool moves in VR. You were killing it on Beat Saber, dude. It was amazing. I was sucked in the beginning, but that is a must have for anyone, <laughs> anybody. We're, we're gonna go a little bit into his story as an entrepreneur, and also I wanna get some of his like content marketing secrets out of him because your content is probably seen by tens or possibly even hundreds of millions like of people. That. Yeah, so I wanna get some of his marketing information so guys take notes were you always an entrepreneur or was yeah. there like a leap you had to make i think being an entrepreneur is something that's kind of innate so i got asked this question recently it was like you know what eric i looked at your linkedin and you had literally like nine jobs in one year something like that what? right and that i never because growing up in an asian family they don't really tell you to be an entrepreneur they give you a doctor lawyer engineer kind of thing right i realized like when you change jobs that many times in one year that you're fundamentally not employable because for me, I, I kept changing jobs not because I was getting fired, but because I was always looking for the next big opportunity. Mm. So I think in life as an entrepreneur, you, as long as you're chasing the next big opportunity, that's probably a signal that you are mm -hmm. set to be an entrepreneur. What was that point that brought you over the edge from just yeah. having it be like a side thing to like the beginning of where you are now? I think I, I can probably call myself the unconventional entrepreneur because mm -hmm. um, I've, I've started a bunch of things like there's this magic e-commerce site, there's like the senior living business, all these things that Frankly, they failed, right? Um, but I was working at a company called Treehouse. I was leading their marketing in the past. Yeah. They're now like a hundred million dollar company. It's a big company, yeah. Online education. And my podcast co-host right now, um, he was one of the advisors to the company and he said, why don't you come help this company, Single Brain. And um, I, this company that I have right now, the one that I own 100% of, I actually didn't start. So I came into the company, there was really? four other partners. But um, you have 100% of it. I have 100% of it. Though. Okay. Yeah, so you know, there's, it was myself, I like to say there's one yellow guy and there's uh, four Indian dudes. <laughs> so Neil was one of those. And then um, like the company was failing because Google adjusted its algorithms. So it was previously just an SEO company. Oh. And then from there, like a year into it, the company was doing so poorly that I was able to buy the company for $2 out of my pocket and the rest was paid through the profits of the company. Wow. So you, you basically came into the company as COO or mm -hmm. director or something. number two, yeah. You, you, you number two. Mm -hmm. And then you ended up buying the rest of the company and it sounds like you negotiated a pretty good deal for yourself. Yeah, I don't think I'm a really good negotiator, but I think this is a pretty good deal because everyone else was saying, get out, get out. Neil was like, the company is worth nothing right now that has no brand equity, you should get out. And I was like, man, you know what? I have literally nothing to lose, so I'm gonna go for it. And so that was the entrepreneurial journey for this company and then you know, led to starting some other stuff too, but uh, that's the, the biggest success so far for and, myself. And, and you guys just got a new office space. How many, how many people do you have working for you now? Yeah, so we have 34, um, we just got a new office space. That's a lot of people that depend on you. At Treehouse, I, I went through this when I was 25 years old, but the CEO was like, you got 50 people's families riding on your shoulders right now. Yeah. You gotta, we gotta hit numbers this month and we're gonna let you go. And this is like a month into the job, I'm like, okay. Wow. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's scary to think of it that way, but I think as long as you're confident in yourself, as long as as you're kind of tending to your garden, making sure your people are taken care of, um, it should take care of itself. You have to have a lot of confidence to have 34 people riding on your riding on your backs. A lot of the confidence I got was from just reading a lot of books and stealing the experience from other people. Uh -huh. Like there's this one book called The Servant, and it's about okay. servant leadership. And literally the analogy I just gave about tending to your garden, because you know when you you have strawberries growing in your garden, it's not. The strawberry didn't grow because of you, but the strawberry, like if you if you set it up for success, you know that's tending to your garden, uh, and that's what you're uh, trying to do. You're trying to serve your people, and that's how you build influence. So that's just one of the things you can do. If you could say real quick, like a few sentences, what is content marketing, and what are some of your your tricks to it? Content marketing is just it's you're you're building a brand, whether it's through how John does it through YouTube, for example, or you're creating content through blog content, audio content, whatever it is. You're trying to teach people, and then by teaching people, you're building a relationship with them, and they're coming to you eventually to buy whatever product 
products or services that you have. And through content marketing, you wanna talk about the, the reach, right? Um, we have one podcast called Marketing School. That one's, uh, we just hit 680,000 downloads last month. Um, so that's, that's a monthly basis. We just broke, uh, we're approaching 11 million downloads and we're, we've been doing it for less than two that's years. That's crazy. Thank you. Um, and then a whole lot of we people. just started doing the YouTube channel. Um, that's kind of slowly growing and then you know, when I, when I first joined Single Grain, the, the site was getting about 4,000 visits a month. Now we're approaching about 115,000. But what my point of telling you all this is not to brag. Sure, we're reaching millions of people um, yearly and maybe even monthly too. But the, the thing is, even with John too, is just all this entrepreneur stuff, all this marketing stuff, whatever it is, it just takes a lot of time to start ramping. Um, and I'm happy to share more stories around that. But content marketing has gotten us clients like Uber, Amazon, Lyft, Salesforce, Nordstrom, um, and we we are building out an outbound team right now, but everything we've gotten so far is all inbound. To somebody who is trying to create an inbound marketing strategy where people are finding you know, information about them, what would be one of your, just one big, big tip for somebody who's looking to get started? There is a difference between when people are writing news content all the time and there's a difference between evergreen content. So you can say news content or temporal content where you're just writing about a trend, right? So-and-so did something. Like and, Stormy Daniels yeah. or Stormy Daniels, you know, Iran or yeah. North Korea. Yeah, 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 Stuff like that, right? It's very kind of, you know, fly by night, okay. right? You're just writing on trends. Now, other stuff like, how to do affiliate marketing, for example, or what is SEO, that's much more evergreen. That stuff stacks over time because people are constantly looking for that. You wanna build evergreen content, right? And then, then you see like one year, it's like stacks like this, next year stacks like this. If you're doing like news content, it's just like this, right? It's like this, uh -huh. it keeps building. But it's, it's you see over time, like it's like this versus like you build a, up a mountain like this. The second thing I'll say is, if you're looking to do blog content, look, there's over 2 million WordPress blog posts being published every single day. Google the skyscraper content. This is from Backlinko, uh, skyscraper technique. That's you looking to build a piece of content that's 10x better than whatever are like the number one, two or three results. That way you're gonna be able to rank higher than people because you have a better piece of content. You reach out to people that have linked to the previous one and you rank higher, we can talk about SEO, but just produce better content out there like the stuff that John's doing world class. If you look at his videos, if you look at his YouTube ads, they stand out. I, I literally watched a whole ad. Like you, I, know, you I, watched yeah, the whole ad. Yeah, I, I watched multiple of, of, his, of his stuff. It's, it, it's freaking amazing, right? Yeah. Um, but that's what it takes. You gotta, you gotta like put in the work. And um, I mean, John, this is kind of a question for you. You yeah. spend a lot more time on your videos than, than, than the normal person would, right? Yeah. yeah. So we we've we've spent. Uh, we actually shot a new ad last weekend. We went up to Lightning in a Bottle, mm. and we spent we spent we spent two full days filming an ad. You know, it wasn't any of this selfie stuff. You know, we spent two full days filming the ad. But even before that, I scripted it out. You know, I, I it took me time to come up with the idea to script it out. You know, I had to figure out what shots we were gonna get. I made sure we had a drone and multiple cameras. And it's it's gonna spend a few weeks in editing, you know, and back and forth until I actually release my ad. So, you know, I think about it a lot. Yeah. That's an example, yeah. You're the freaking man. <laughs> Subscribe to this guy's channel. I'm gonna post some links below this video. I wanna leave you guys with a question for those of you who've made it to the end of the video. And first comment is going to get a free giveaway. Do you wanna see me bring in more of my entrepreneur friends to talk about how they made the leap? Is that is that is that good or do you just wanna go into the tactics that they do? Which do you prefer? Um, comment, comment below. First comment's gonna get free giveaway. Guys, subscribe to this guy's channel. Hit the subscribe button for mine. I put a link to his. There's a button. Hit that bell, hit that bell, pop, pop, pop. And uh, guys, I will check you out in the next video. Peace. What is it? The, the move? Boom.